Rob, how about you? Do you think about living to 100? Uh, I, if, if I don't live uh, to that length of time, sure, okay, I, can, I hope I'll be like David Hume, uh, who actually, as he died, said, you know, I have, really, he said, I'm perfectly okay. And then I said, I'm, I'm ready to die now. I, I want to be like that. And I'll be able to turn to the other person and say, you know, you've got to get up in the morning, I don't have to. Huh. You know, that's what I want to be able to say. <laughs> At least 50% uh, of people with any of the 200 cancers will, will as, as one of my patients said, die of something else. There are a whole bunch of them which are serious chronic diseases. Um, and and, and Tak is absolutely right that chemotherapy has done fairly well in a few cancers, moderately well in quite a few other cancers, but it probably isn't going to go that much further than it is now. The future is the biologics, the sharpshooting, the aimed, targeted drugs for that they're going to hit cancers as opposed to normal cells. That's where we're going. The consequence of the collapse of Catholicism and the rise of nationalism was the fact our country was just about fragmented, right, twice, and that would have been a catastrophe. Right. That's a good example. It, it's not necessarily true, Jordan. I mean, it's quite possible that the kind of people uh, who wanted to be separatists couldn't tolerate being ca Catholic for a long time. They just, they just don't want to be and they're just nonconformists. You're not necessarily right. But the really important thing, and I think we all agree, there are serious downsides occasionally to religion. It doesn't matter whether they're intrinsic or extrinsic. What does matter is that we can cut the wire between belief and behavior. We can actually stop ourselves killing in God. Does it offend you that the Lord's Prayer is said at the legislature to start each sitting? It, it wouldn't offend me either way, but I, I just wish we'd be a little bit consistent. It would be fabulous if politicians got up in the mouth and said, you have trespassed against me. You know what? I'm going to forgive you because it said in the Lord's Prayer that we said this morning that we should forgive each other, and that's what I'm going to do. The point is that it really doesn't matter. I mean, they, 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 mutter, they mutter all kinds of things to start things off, but they don't actually pay attention. If a woman goes to a hospital um, and says, you know, I had chest pain, uh, and they find a breast lump, I mean, she might say, oh, well, you know, you know I was uh, sure I had a heart disease, but that breast lump, thank goodness, wasn't cancer. Actually, it's completely the wrong way around. If that breast lump was cancer, and it was a small, you know, under two centimeters, lymph node negative, it's the end of the story. She's never going to bother her at all. The heart disease is going to be a serious problem. One day, a woman will say, oh, sure, I just had a little touch of breast cancer there. But thank goodness the chest pain was mm. reflux, not heart disease. <laughs> if you want to live a long, healthy life, Choose. pick your parents with <laughs> great care, which is really true. Rob well, Buckman, you get the last one. Coexist in terms of belief and behavior, yes. I am totally in favor of everyone believing in whatever it is that they want to believe in. A, a god, several gods, no god at all, no problem at all. But please behave as if there was no god to sort out humankind's problems for it. Uh, believe whatever you like, but behave as if our mess is our mess to try and sort out. That, that, that would do fine. That's coexistence. Let the record show that after a week of putting many, many religious people on this television station, we gave the last word to an atheist. <laughs> there you go. Thank <laughs> you.